Hello. Welcome to Jade Kind of Video Gaming. My name is Adam here as Rizargo. I'm sure Stone. Silge's house. Just thinking about decisions. It's a wonderful woman I met there. Don't think you can barter with me like one of those damned shopkeepers. I don't remember when you guys let me die here several times. But we are out here over by Riften. Oh, I have a I have an even closer spot I can travel to. <laughs> Sweet. Gonna go try and recruit our next individual. Huh? Is there another standing stone? I thought I had all the standing stones. Also, just how queer we- I do not fear the dragons. Drago would like you just to stay right there. Drago's healing. So run into that rock all you want. Zargo's very frightened by your ability to run into a rock. What moved me? Oh. I know I got the um, achievement for having found all of the standing stones, I think, two standing stones ago. I'm not sure if I'm just like rediscovering locations that I've already discovered or what. <laughs> Finding my way up the mountain.
still further up. Oh, that... Scared me. Jump scared, just that sound. I was like, huh? at least like I say travelable ground as I get stuck going all the way up this mountain that's, that's something at least to help with in my way Mind yourself. There's no. a vicious bear on the loose. You there! Hold fast! I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Is Aragos here to tell you that Ithran needs your help? Ithran? Needing someone else's help? Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? We are up against vampires. Vampires? That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. Not totally sure, but the vampires have an Elder Scroll. By the Eight. Alright, look. I'll consider it. I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Where's the bear? Oh, it's in the cave. Sure, if we were trying to capture or kill the troll, but he started attacking it, so kill it was the decision. Why did the bear have a treasure chest? I don't know. Oh, that's arrows. I don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes, well, how'd you know? If Isran is anything, he's stubborn. He's been working on that place for years now. He never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well... I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. <coughs> Tiny little cave there. <laughs> the, the blood moon rises? <laughs> Ooh. 
That's that's a Dawn Guard specific thing. I hate how far it puts me. Put me right by the door. That's new. Either that or I'm going the wrong way. Because I'm pretty sure I haven't had to open a gate this far. Nope, this is the same path because I remember the vegetable patch. I hope the vampires try to attack us here. A lot easier than hunting them down in their holes. Well, some have. Got us all here. Now, what do you want? Oh, hold it right there. What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. But it's nighttime. So, welcome to Fort Gaunt. It is nighttime. Hard. Why did the sun shine in at nighttime? A bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? Oh! Hope you're getting okay. along with Isron. He takes some getting used to. Well, this isn't exactly a palace, is it? Still, it's sturdy, secure, and seems defensible. I suppose I'd rather be here than most other places in Skyrim. Isron needs me. It must be pretty bad. I wonder what we're up against here. Don't get yourself killed. Like what Isran has done with the place. It's good to see someone else who's really prepared. It says to follow him, but he doesn't have a marker. Is it not selected? There we go, that should help. Very few people appreciate all the horrible things that can happen to you if you're not being cautious. Okay, so I need to just find my way upstairs and then. From there, I can follow him, I guess. There we go. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. The Rizanago came. Rizanago got your friends, or... Whatever they are. I was really family. surprised you let her up while you were away. I'm guessing well, that's their elder scroll found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. It see. So it's let's pretty. hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. Um, Rizarko's curious what you're doing here in the 
home of the people that want you dead. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. Yes, that one. What about you? The reason I was down there and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. What do you mean, lost himself? He just became absorbed. Obsessed. He was kind of sick, actually. The prophecy said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. For someone who fancied himself as vampire royalty, that's pretty seductive. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. Lizardo recognizes you took a large risk to come here. I did. But something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. Luzardo is trustworthy. You just need to convince the others you're on our side. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. Yes. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Because we are going to need her help. Why? Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out? Do you actually believe any of that? And Rizargo would not understand why else she would risk her life to come here. Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. Such a charmer. In time. Don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Where is Argos done once before? Who can? Well, the moth priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away, in Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No. And I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind. And I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, where would a moth priest actually go? Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. I mean... Rizargo is... You know does rule over that college. Um, so, what are you, always a vampire? That's a long story. You got like ten minutes? I guess we kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. 
Do you know where vampirism came from? No. The first vampire came from Molik Ball. Mm. She was not a willing subject, but she was still the first. Molik Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. Do you regret becoming a vampire? Nobody's ever asked me that before. I... I don't know. I think mostly I hate what it's done to my family. And how has it affected your family? Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. Do you ever think about curing yourself? A cure? Why even think of it that way? I can't think of any reason I'd want to lose this gift. Especially after what I did to get it. It may have driven my family apart, but I'm still here. And I'm alive. I won't give this up. Nothing like a goose chase around the whole damned province. That was not as long of a story as, um... Oh, that's not much damage at all. As I'm in midair, I'm like, will I regret this? <laughs> nope. Not at all. That was a wonderful decision. That is the uh, quickest way down. <laughs> I love choosing health for almost every upgrade in the game. <laughs> as I level up. Alright, so... College first. You know, just to kind of show off that I'm so smart. <laughs> Not that I'm showing off, I mean, Rosetta goes married. Sargo has a couple extra houses. Ancano is exactly why we're so restricted about access to the college. Yes, yes. Rosario is totally involved. What? So, Rezar goes the Archmage, these are his quarters, and apparently he had to go up to here in order to go down to the library. Which I feel like, doesn't the other door just go to the library? Why did I come through this way? I don't know. But, whatever. Maybe not. I'm not one for commendations, but I might have lost everything that matters, so thanks. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. So Rizargo needs to find a moth priest. A moth priest? What an oblivion do you need a moth priest for? Rizargo's going to speak uh, in a snarky manner, but really, to read a Elder Scroll. Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. I didn't. The obvious answer is to go to the Imperial City. The Moth Priest make their home in the White Gold Tower. Sometimes they go out looking for Elder Scrolls. Lucky for you, there's a Moth Priest in Skyrim right now, doing just that. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragonbridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. Where have you been? I mean, asking the important questions, getting the answers we wanted? I mean, isn't that the goal? If 
feel like I was in Dragon Bridge not that long ago. <laughs> I finally found you. I want to join the College of Winterhold, but I need help with my wards. Can you teach me? Sir! Really? Great. Okay, so first, you raise your ward and I'll throw a little spell at it. That way I can see the right way to do things. Get your ward ready. up so I can study it. I think I see what I was doing wrong. All right, so that should do it. Here. I think I'm, I'm ready to try the college it. again. Thanks! I like that. I, I, I was never, I never get right to him because he stood out as you don't belong here. Um... Like as soon as I as soon as I got here, I was like, that guy's not from here. So I was like, is that the moth priest? Well, no. Um, but it was cool to have college business stuff. Oh, did you need something? Need something? Just wondering why you picked up a broom and started cleaning here. Have you met my husband? Well, don't bother. He's a drunk. Yeah. As I go, just wanted to know if you knew anything about a moth priest visiting Dragonbridge. Nah, I don't think so. Well, then you're useless. All right, then. Yep, yeah, you agree. Seen some mean-spirited folk pass through lately. Thought I was rid of those sorts when I left Markarth. But what about a moth priest? A moth priest? I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about that. Try asking one of the guards. Farewell. Ah! Isago will do just that. Everything all right? Isago's looking for a moth ah, priest. So that was a moth priest then. He rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop, just headed south, across the Dragon Bridge. All right. Thank you. Until next time. Are you a soldier? One day, I'm going to be a soldier. Do you know about the I moth priest? I don't know priest? what a moth priest is, but I did see an old man in a robe not long ago. He's riding in a wagon with some imperial guards. They didn't stop to visit, though. They rode through town, heading south, and went across the big bridge. It was only just a little bit ago. I bet you can catch them if you hurry up. Kid gave Until even more time. detail than the guard. I kind of felt, had the feeling like, ah, oh, this might... Had a feeling. I feel like... Ooh, no. <sighs> this is not what Rizarga wanted to find. Just south of the Dragon Ridge. Take the Moth Priest to Forebear's Holdout for safekeeping until I can break his will. Alcus. I guess we will have to figure that out. 
next time. Perhaps she's going to figure it out now. We'll find this moth priest. Join us next time for more Skyrim. Like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.